Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Juda, and today we have with us Jeremy Redmore. How's it going, Jeremy? I'm great, thanks. Jerry, Jeremy's got a brand new record out. We're going to share some of the tunes with us and yeah. tell us a little bit of the story behind it. For folks who may not remember or may remember, you used to be in a band, a fairly notable band, New Zealand band called Midnight Youth. I was, yeah. yeah. Long time ago now, but um, still like a really special part of my history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you see the guys around at all? Or? I do. Oh, yeah, good. I mean, we were supposed to be reuniting for a couple of shows. But, oh, great. Um, you know, virus time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cancelled everything. Kind of cancelled everything, hasn't it? Um, but no, we, we still hang out. We still, we still um, have beers oh, every couple of weeks. Very and, good, very good. Yeah, it's really nice. Excellent. And you were out of the country for a while. I was. So after I did a, a solo record, mm -hmm. um, I was just kind of overwhelmed with with the stress of that. Right. And um, my partner at the time was like, hey, I want to go live in Canada. And I was like, okay, this, this seems like a good out. Could do worse. Yeah. It's just colder there, that's all. That well, in the, in the winter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'd never had a, a, a cold winter like oh, that before, okay. so it was all novelty. So sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was fine. So yeah, I moved to Toronto yeah. and it's didn't do music. No, um, not at all. Nope. Oh. I worked in a coffee shop and, and ran a website remotely and yeah. yeah, no one there knew that I was a musician <laughs> for a long time. And how did that feel for you? It was nice. That yeah. was what I needed at that point of time. Right. Yeah, it was you nice feel just like being saying, Listen, else. I actually am an artist and no. I can do stuff. <laughs> no, nah, it was really it was it was really fascinating because I think sometimes when you when you let go of a big part of your identity you can sort of find out who you really are as a person yep. in terms of in terms of how society defines you anyway yeah yeah that's interesting well when i moved to new zealand from the states i just turned into the same person exactly <laughs> again so i, I must well have you'd been, already found yourself i guess so it was really strange but anyway so the uh the album is called the brightest flame that's right is there a story behind the title uh it's one of the lyrics in one of the songs uh -huh. um and it's it, c it comes paired with the line, um, the brightest flame leaves the darkest shadow. Ah. Um, and as for me, um, yeah, it's sort, of a, it's sort of about how something can kind of burn into your life and, and light it all up. Right. And then and uh, leave. And it can leave sometimes. <laughs> leave yeah. everything black. And that's fine, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's, it's sort of a testament to how bright and, and powerful and great that thing was that right. there was a dark side to it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, and I've listened to the album, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you. It is pretty dark in some places. It is. And, it is. Uh, <laughs> so how are you going to feel performing these songs and bringing them out to the public? That's a really good question. I'm still <laughs> figuring that out. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out whether that's a healthy thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, hopefully it is. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. Um, I've, I've moved on from the... The, the album is very much... Uh, one year in my life yeah. and sort of recovering from a bit of a, a re life reset. So right. I've, I've recovered from that now. Yep. Um, and yeah. Now I, you I get to relive of, it. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that, that's, there's a danger and uh, there's possibly a danger in taking right. myself back there emotionally, but I yeah. feel like I've, I've got the tools to, oh, good. to avoid good, good. that and, and sort of reframe it into a, oh, that was a cool yeah. chapter in my life. And, it's, and, and you yeah. kind of released the songs in segments. So it's right. So you kind of build up the story. Well, yeah, the the songs, uh, the 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 album is a story. Yeah. One year in my life, mm -hmm. so I thought stories have chapters. Yep. Why can't music have chapters? Sure. Plus, it made sense to me. You know, I'd been away from releasing music. This is my first album in six years. Mm -hmm. It made sense to me to try and innovate and and find a way to capture an audience over a long period of time rather than two singles in an album. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I wanted to give people I work with a chance to showcase their talent as well. So I've, I've got some amazing, um, a friend of mine, Mike Braid, has made all these amazing visuals to go oh, along cool. with it. So um, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we're going to hear some songs. The first one is called One Amongst a Thousand. That's right. Can you tell me about that before we hear it? So this one's from day 21. Uh -huh. This is the second chapter in the story. All right. So day 21 is kind of like, you're still in shock. Mm -hmm. You haven't quite worked out what is going on after this uh, this big sort of void is is, is cast into right, your life. Right, right. Um, and I wrote it looking back at day twenty one while I was on holiday in Rome about six months later. Ah, okay. And I'd gone out in Rome 
and I was trying to have this big night, trying really hard. I went to this <laughs> bar, I bought people drinks, I bought people cigarettes, I don't even smoke. And, um, <clears throat> and nothing was working. And I was looking around going, what is going on here? This is just not happening. I just wanted this big adventure. And then finally I talked to someone, I was like, what, what is this bar? And um, the guy was like, this is, this is, this is a bar, yeah, but we're, this is a wedding. Oh. <laughs> and I'd crash someone's wedding. Nice one. <laughs> and so instantly I was like, okay, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. And I wandered back and I wrote this song in the foyer of my hostel just being like, man, uh, sometimes when you're in a big city that's full of people, you can still kind of feel like yeah. you're the only you're one there. All righty. All right, well, let's give it a listen and we'll come back and talk some more. One more cigarette before I leave. I'm one amongst a thousand that doesn't speak. When in Rome they say that I can't relate, I'm one amongst a thousand, can't catch a break. And I'm watching you. It's you confide in a brand new soul you shouldn't leave behind. But give me just a minute and the sound will die. It's a lonely city when the volume's high. One amongst a thousand looking anywhere but here. I don't have a reason to be singing in your ear. No. train rejuvenation one more moment where I don't know who I'm knowing maybe I'm soon gonna be making a new history one amongst a thousand and I don't care what it means for me just a single pair of eyes just enough to turn the tide one amongst a thousand and not one of us will ever try but give me just a minute and the sound will die it's a lonely city when the volume's high One amongst a thousand looking anywhere but here I don't have a reason to be singing in your ear Give me just a minute and the sound will die It's a lonely city when the volume's high One amongst a thousand looking anywhere but here I don't have a reason to be singing in your ear No One more cigarette before I leave I'm one amongst a thousand that doesn't speak And I'm watching you as you confide In a brand new soul you sure to leave behind Give me just a minute, the sound will die It's a lonely city when the volume's high One amongst a thousand looking anywhere but here I don't have a reason to be singing in your ear Give me just a minute and the sound will die It's a lonely city when the volume's high One amongst a thousand looking anywhere but here I don't have a reason to be singing in your ear well, Give me just a minute, the sound will when the volume's high One amongst a thousand looking anywhere but here I don't have a reason to be singing in your ear Alrighty, we're here at the 13th floor with Jeremy Redmore Correct? That's right, that's See, right I wrote it wrong and now I'm going to try and read it wrong the whole time <laughs> So, no, we got it right uh, And we just heard One Amongst a Thousand It was a beautiful song Thank And you. Uh, we have a couple more to go through The next song is called Walk Away so where is this in the story? So this is day 180. Oh. So uh, we've moved along. From 22. From 21, so 21. from three weeks to six months. Okay. So by six months, 
I think um, you're at the stage, well, I was at the stage where I was ready to sort of put myself back into the world and uh, yeah. see what was out there. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, you might sort of fumble around a bit, but um, yeah. the fact is you've got to that point where it's like, you know what, I need to, need to get back into the world. So this song is about really, yeah, a bit of a fumbling attempt. To uh, so was it difficult to come attempt. up to, to kind of get to that point? Did you have to kind of go through some kind of mental process to go, okay, well, this is where we're at, and now we're going to move on? Oh, I don't know if it's a super intentional thing, but I think you naturally start saying yes to things right. rather than just staying at home. <laughs> was there a lot of staying at home before? Yeah. yeah. It was winter in Toronto. Oh, geez. Well, there. Yeah, so that didn't really lend itself to trying no. to put myself out there before then. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you on Yong Street at all or near there? I was uh, not living near there, but went there a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a pretty cool town. So yeah, there's some good things happening. I, I loved living there. I think I would have moved. To, I would have considered moving to Toronto rather than Auckland, except for just too darn cold in the winter time. The winter. I've had enough of it. <laughs> it's full on. Yeah. yeah. All righty. Well, let's give it a listen. This is Walk Away. I was all dressed up. For the spring Though the winter had taken its toll I was looking for some way To heal and to grow And I'm not one to do things alone So I went out looking for shelter And time cast a fortunate gaze It was only a moment before I had found somebody to walk my way In the bar, had a band And the band played a song That started a dance That no part of felt wrong Then when the two had retired from the room I asked if you wanted to stay Cause I didn't want to walk Next day I saw you again In my soul it was cleansed by the rain A soothing escape from the heat of the day It was the gift you were sending my way So I start to think of the future Could we make it to just one more winter Even though I don't know you Makes sense to see if a blossom could grow on this tree. And you played me a song in your basement apartment. You turned off the lights to avoid any judgment. Then, when our touch had delivered its healing, you asked me, Please, baby, stay. And I didn't want to walk. One evening, my fortune changed One phone call that swept me away Boy, take all your plans, put them in the trash Looks like winter's back on my case Well, our season's no longer aligned We'll put the wall up round this heart of mine And though we know we should end this it's too good to waste, so we carry on walking this way. And we did what we could to forget what would come. We acted like this ship was traveling on. But there's too much at stake and too much to unknow. So I told you, you shouldn't wait. But you didn't want to walk One morning you woke with a dream Across the world you were living with me 
You were ready to gamble all that you've made For a man with his soul in the shade Woman, you're strong and courageous But I'm not made of the stuff that could save us I am a rock, I am sensible I'm carved out this way Still, I didn't want to walk away And I played you a song as you drove me on home I kissed you and said that it won't feel too long But in the morning you woke up broken and said This is all gonna be for the best I don't think that I can see you again Well the cards we were dealt They put an end to this game On the blues they are all the same and we both had to walk away Welcome to the 13th floor again. We have Jeremy Redmore with us. He's playing and singing some songs from his new album. It's called The Brighter, The Brightest Flame. And uh, it's being released uh, tomorrow as we're talking today. And there's quite a bit of stuff. I mean, we're in Auckland. We've got the coronavirus happening. Things are changing all over the place. Uh, when I, just before we started talking, I heard an announcement on the radio. They're cutting down uh, the amount of people that can gather to 100 rather than 500, which is going to have a big effect on the music business here in town. So before, you could at least go to Whammy or something and have a little gig there and have a few hundred people together, but now you can't even do that. How does that make you feel? Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of out of our hands, but it is pretty deflating to be working. I've been working on this project for about three years yeah. and, and to have four months build up and then it's peaking right <laughs> when everything's falling apart so uh, that's it's quite deflating but at the same time um you know there's nothing we can do and, and people's safety and health is is yeah. much more important than than music can be i just hope that we can musicians can still have a place within this world maybe we're not making money but maybe yeah. we can just help lift people's spirits so yeah. yeah we're just getting creative um i'm sure we'll be i'll be live streaming things i'm doing this actually doing a initiative now where people can get in touch with me on my website and let me know if someone they someone's a bit down in, the, in, the, in sort of an isolation right and they can basically order me to turn up on their doorstep or oh, outside really? their window and, sing and a what is your songs. websites uh... so it's just at jeremyredmore.com slash songs to your steps okay um, and or just head to my my Facebook page I suppose yeah yeah um, and you'll be able to find it from there but so you're gonna go to people's houses and cheer them up that's the idea, just sing, your a, sing a couple of songs, just yeah. acoustically outside the window, keep the, the safe distance. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> that's um, right. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully some people can, yeah, well. can, can make their day, that's the, yeah. that's the idea. Because is kind of mental health and all that kind of part of your music and you, what you're doing and where you're coming from? This whole process of, of cr creating this record and, ha and, and how it sort of by doing so created a vision yeah. for my life was such a healing. Yeah, because when I listened to it the, f the first time, I was like, whoa, this really got my, I mean, it was, you could tell there was something different about this than your average singer songwriter singing a couple of sad songs, you know? Yeah, yeah, it, was, <laughs> it, it came from a pretty, pretty full on place. And it was definitely, music was my life raft. Mm -hmm. um, it was very compulsive. I didn't, most of these songs came out without thinking that they were going to be used. It was just, I had to do something. It was, it was just my way of expressing and it always kind of has been in my life. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, for me, this was really healing and I hope that people can listen to it and find their own sense of healing, but also listen to it and be like, hey, I can do that. Yeah. Or if, even if it's writing words mm -hmm. um, or writing songs, I think that there's a place for people to, to take music and use it as a vehicle for, for healing. So, yeah. Um, that's a big part of the story. Cool. So we got one more song. It's called Southern Lights. That's right. And what's the story behind that one? So this is the final song on the record. Right. Um, 
it's the closer. If, a, if, if this record was a normal record, <laughs> it'd probably be the first song out, uh -huh. and it would probably be edited. Right. Uh, so that it was very much more concise <laughs> um, <coughs> in the recording anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's very much a song about sometimes the the place for your vision is, is sort of right in front of you. And you know, I was living in Toronto and mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out what was next for my world. And I just I just thought of my, my history in New Zealand and my, my family and the people and and um, I needed that comfort. And the song is about finding that comfort in, in home. Heading for those southern lights, huh? Yeah, and do you know what? Search southern lights on Spotify, yeah. there's no songs. Really? Really? Yeah. Because there's Southern Cross. Yeah. There's a couple of Southern Crosses there's, I'm there's familiar with. There's hundreds of Northern Lights. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Crazy. Yeah, well, crazy. Anyway, last time I checked anyway, <laughs> um, I was shocked. That's excellent. But anyway, that wasn't why you, that isn't why you wrote a song, but yeah, it, yeah, it just sort of uh, came out and yeah, for me it's a really, a really poignant song right now. I think there's a lot of people who are stuck. Yeah. Well. There's a lot of people stuck all over the place. <laughs> Nobody can get anywhere, and everybody's trying to get where they belong. So yeah. hopefully they'll find their place. It's good to see that you have. Yeah, thank you. Welcome back. Cheers, mate. And it's good luck nice with everything. You. Cheers. Hopefully we'll see you playing around if we can get yeah, in about a six couple months of people or so. together. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. Otherwise, I'll see you on a screen. <laughs> yeah, or just come over here and play. We can <laughs> yeah, you should really live stream, like set up a live streaming we spot probably, here. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. But anyway, all right. Well, thank you very much for coming. Good luck and uh, we'll finish up with Southern Lights. It's too cold to be in the north Gonna move on The sun goes down before the working day There's a girl three stops from mine that I cannot bring myself to find. Southern lights, they call. Follow me home. Southern Follow me home This northern sun is a softer kind I could lay down But the words from the birds And the green from the trees unsettle me And all around these ancient towns have sugar lips with bitter mouths. Southern lights, they call. Follow me home. Southern lights, they call. Follow me home. Oh. 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 In December snow. Stick with the twenty fifth and sandy toes. And God, I pray that I've been good as the gift I need is to be.